So you have someone in your life who likes you, or at least you think they do, but sometimes you get a feeling that they're feeling something else as well. Your current hunch is that they might have a fear of rejection, but how can you tell? Or maybe you aren't quite sure, so you're looking for a few more signs before you bring it up to them. Well, it's always great to communicate to your partner what it is you're feeling or worried about. But if you're looking for some signs as well, here are six signs someone is into you, but they're afraid you'll reject them. Number one, they try to be their best self around you and preen themselves around you. Do you notice this particular person is always being their best self around you when compared to how they normally are? When we like someone, of course, we're going to try to be the best we can because we wanna put our best foot forward and perhaps show them our great qualities. You probably need to know if this person likes you before you know if they're afraid of rejection. If they're going out of their way to show you their fantastic qualities and they're trying hard to be their best self, this could mean it's because they really like you. As long as it's respectful, kind, and not too cocky, it could be that they genuinely like you. If you also notice that just before you arrive, they're fixing their hair, clothes, or checking the mirror for food in their teeth, this is another sign they could like you. Preening like this, around or before a certain someone approaches, is a common sign of attraction. Do you do the same around your crush? Number two, they were very nervous on your first few dates. Have you been out on a date with them? Or maybe you hung out a few times. Were they pretty nervous on their first date with you? This is a common sign that they like you. Those with a fear of rejection will often be a bit more anxious on the first date because they really want things to go well. Will you reject their request for a second date? If you notice they're having trouble talking and their palms are sweaty, perhaps try to ease their nerves on a second date and go somewhere that's comfortable for them. Getting to know each other over their mom's spaghetti? No? Okay. According to statistics, only a small percentage of you who watch our videos are actually subscribed. So if you haven't, and at the end of the video, you enjoy what you see, do consider subscribing. It would help a lot with YouTube's algorithm in promoting more of our mental health content. Thanks for being here. Number three, they don't talk about commitment or how serious the relationship has become. So you've been on a few dates and you feel you're ready to go official and become partners. But as much as they genuinely seem to like you, they never bring up the matter or even hint at it they may also never flat out tell you they like you because then there'd be room for you to bluntly respond. They'll slide the phrase in a conversation or long sentences somewhere and then hurriedly change the subject if you don't respond right away, if you have a chance to respond. Number four, they'll often do things to impress you. Do you notice your partner or crush will do or say things in an attempt to impress you? Lots of people will do this when they like someone, but if you notice they do it more often than not, it could be because they're afraid you'll reject them if you don't hear everything great about them first. If it's a crush, they may not ask you out before for sure knowing that you like them because you could always reject them. So instead, they'll go out of their way to impress you or throw in hints of impressive qualities they have. This could be in hopes you'll like them too and ask them out first. Number five, they're a people pleaser with you. You've noticed they never really seemed like a people pleaser, but with you, they seem to go out of their way to please you, even when it could negatively affect them. You may not know it, but you find out later they canceled important plans because they didn't want to say no to your request to hang out. Or maybe they don't express their true opinion because they try to keep one similar to yours. They always seem to nod along with your opinion, even though you could have swore they had felt different before. While having common interests and opinions is a great thing, it's important that they aren't altering their opinion just to please you. If something seems off, a calm discussion about your concerns could be a good idea for those in a relationship. And number six, they're sometimes very passive or don't bring up their needs. Everyone is different and has different levels of energy. But if you notice they've been acting a bit passive lately and don't often bring up their needs or desires, they could be too afraid to, out of fear of rejection. Many with a fear of rejection also fear confrontation. Both partners' needs and wants are valid and important in a relationship. So if it seems they're holding back on what they want, gently bring up the topic of their needs. What do they want out of this relationship? Are you getting what you want? Do they really wanna go to that sushi restaurant but said they'll go to Frank's barbecue all because you really wanted chicken wings? Well, that's sweet, but maybe casually take turns on picking date locations or come up with a compromise. Yep, 
goodbye sweet chicken wings. But who doesn't love a good spicy tuna roll? Yum. So, do you think someone is into you, but has a fear of rejection? How will you bring up the topic with them and talk it through? These things can take time, so make sure you're both comfortable. But a bit of communication and reaching out may just help your relationship become an even healthier one. We hope you enjoyed this video, and if you did, don't forget to click the like button, comment, and share it with a friend, loved one, or someone who could use it. Subscribe to Psych2Go and hit the notification bell icon for more content like this. As always, thanks for watching.